How are you doing today, sir? Hey, Steve. I love that G-Force figure right behind you there. That was like I'm, my favorite cartoon as a kid. Hi, welcome to the party. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I keep on hoping that I do all these interviews with all these big people. I keep hoping that that's going to lead to like a movie by people yes, seeing right? You should make that movie. They should totally make that movie. A hundred percent. It's a great property. You, you yeah. can, it doesn't. Anyway, I'm willing it into existence by just constantly having it here. I want to see that too. So I read that you growing up that you idolized Jackie Chan and now you're friends with Jackie Chan. What the hell is that like? That's a, it's amazing. You know, like he, I, when I got to Hong Kong within probably a month of being in the industry that I got signed on to his management company, I was managed by him for 11 years. We did like several movies together. I played the villain to his hero a couple of times and we spent a lot, a lot of time together. In fact, like he calls me one of his sons, in fact. And oftentimes when his, his, his son is younger than me, he'll often call me to tell me to tell his son to stop doing something because he knows his son will listen to me and not him. Right. And so we've developed this very, very close relationship over time. And it's just like, it's amazing to have idolized him from my youth to being able to become like, you know, part of the family is an amazing experience. And also just to be able to learn from him and his freaking work ethic is like none. I've never seen anybody like that. It's the fact that he's, working all the time and he just can't stop. It's kind of amazing. I am very curious as a fan of his, uh, do you have a favorite film and a favorite stunt? Cause he has done some incredible shit. Oh God. Um, Drunken Master 2 is probably my favorite film in terms of pure Kung Fu style. But I think the, I think it's Eastern Condors. Is that the name? You know, where the, he does the fall off the, the one where he smashed his head open that one where <laughs> He fell through the several awnings. Like some of those things are just so crazy. Like obviously nowadays, nobody does stuff like that, but the incredible feats that he was able to do back in the days and just like put his life on the line. And I've also witnessed like the results of that, this pain, like he's in a lot of pain um, now because of all the stuff that he's done in the past, you know, constant pain. And, and so uh, it's a good, it was a good reminder to me to like take care of my body and not throw myself off top of a building, you know, when you get the chance. Yeah, I, I do believe that he. no matter how much praise you give Jackie Chan, it is not enough. No, um, no, jump in, not enough. I, I got to ask you before, obviously, I'm almost going to run out of time. Um, but for specifically for the reason I get to talk to you, what was it about this script and story that said, I want to do this? Well, I think uh, several factors. One is the cast, but also Lisa Joy and her writing and the way she wrote the St. Joe character. She wanted this villain to be you know, evil and dark and scary, but also vulnerable and, and almost seductive and attractive to the audience as well. And I go, oh, that's an interesting challenge, right? You don't want, you know, oftentimes villains are relegated to a kind of two-dimensional bad guy or caricature, right? And so she didn't want that. She wanted this guy to be very three-dimensional and almost mirror Hugh's character. And so like, you see a lot of similarities. They fell in love with the same woman. They were hurt by the same woman. They're both heartbroken by the same woman. And then also they're selling similar things. He's selling this machine, this opportunity to get in this machine to escape the present and live in the past. And I'm selling this drug that allows people to escape the, the, the nasty present that they're living in now. And so to see these kind of the way she set up these characters and how they're kind of the antithesis of each other, but also very similar, was kind of an interesting challenge for me. Thank you so much for giving me your Thank time. You, Have a great day. Thank you so right, much. Take care, man.